The coronavirus business continuity solution was developed by ISRI in response to COVID-19's effects on business operations. Evidently, COVID-19 has affected our communities and it presents quite a few business challenges in regards to lockdown closures and working remotely to mitigate the effects of the pandemic. With the imminent move to Alert Level 3, the government has put in place guidelines such as the requirement that businesses must take measures to allow contact tracing during Level 2, 3 and 4, as stated here on the Ministry of Primary Industries website. The Coronavirus Business Continuity Solution provides the tools to keep track of both your workforce and facilities, and it helps to answer several key questions such as, do you know where your employees are working and if they are safe? Do you know which of your facilities are operating normally and which facilities are impacted or closed? Eagle Technology have deployed a New Zealand version of this based solution, and as I'll show you later, developed an additional form for visitor check-ins to assist businesses with keeping records of any visitors that work in close contact with staff. This combined capability utilizes existing ArcGIS technology, such as forms, dashboards, maps, and layers. So let's get started with a demo of this solution, which by the way, has been filled with some sample data. Firstly, we have the individual check-in form to help answer the question of where our workforce is and how they are doing. Staff could fill this out perhaps on a daily basis, and this collects information about staff work status, and if they are working, will they be in their usual office or temporarily working from home? For those who might be off-site, they can capture their work location. The form also gathers important information regarding contact with others, their health and well-being, and if they require any assistance. Alternatively, some organizations might find it more efficient for a team leader or team manager to check everyone in. This could be especially useful for larger organizations with many units. So the solution also comes with a team check-in form. Both the individual and team check-in responses are fed into a personnel dashboard that communicates the workforce capacity to management. Here, managers can view check-ins, see who's off-site, and a number of other key metrics at a glance to determine if action or resources are needed. You can also easily view, you can also easily filter to view by office locations, um, teams, and so forth, and even directly search for individual staff. In the check-in history tab, you can view any trends among your workforce to get a clearer sense of how your operational capacity has changed. Now looking at facilities. The solution includes a facility status form, which a facility manager can fill out. This form includes questions such as its operational status, um, number of people working inside, information about security, operating hours, and so forth. Facilities information is then pulled into a facility status dashboard, so management can obtain a complete picture of how all the facilities are doing. And from within the map, you can launch the facility check-in form or if you notice a report for a certain facility hasn't been filled out in a while, you can send an email to the respective facility manager. As mentioned previously, it is advised that businesses keep records of not only where staff are, but also any visitors such as clients or courier drivers in the event contact tracing is required. Here at Eagle, we've developed a separate visitor check-in form and dashboard that can work in tandem with the base solution. Here's the form. Organizations can collect information about which facilities visitors and clients are going to, the date and time they arrive, how long they expect to be in contact for, and which staff member they are primarily visiting. There's also space to record contact details and optional health questions. Bear in mind that all of these questions are fully configurable and can be adapted according to national reporting requirements. And that applies for the previous forms shown as well. And what's more, the information submitted can be extracted in the form of reports, but also in the form of a dashboard. Let me show you. The visitor check-in dashboard allows you to view which staff members and visitors were present on a certain day and location. For instance, if you need to find out who was at the Wellington office on the 22nd, you can filter the list to show both the visitors and staff that were there on the day. To make it clear, these tools aren't a contact tracing solution. Information from the forms strictly remain within your organization and not directly to the government, 
but the tools do help organizations create the records of where staff and visitors have been, which could form the input into a contact tracing tool. So in conclusion, the Coronavirus Business Continuity Solution comes with a range of apps, all leveraging technology that organizations around New Zealand are already using, but presented and packaged in a way to really help you understand and capture the operational capacity of your organization in order to make better business continuity decisions. And the Eagles added tools to aid in the creation of records that can help your organization comply easier with reporting requirements in case of contact tracing. Beyond this core solution, Eagle are also working with a number of organizations with highly mobile workforces to make use of the core ESRI apps, such as Tracker for ArcGIS, for fine-grained personnel tracking. To learn more about the solution and how Eagle can help with your organization's needs, please get in touch with your account manager or email emsupport at eagle.co.nz.